In 2019, the Electoral Commission set 11th December as the cut-off date for voter registration after which Ugandans, though aged 18 and above at that time, but not registered, would not appear on the list. The Commission has since conducted an update and put the number of valid voters at 17.6 million as of September last year. But the new figures that stakeholders say the Commission has shared show 18.1 million are eligible to vote on the 14th of this month. And some observers want the commission to account for the almost half a million voters. The number of polling stations is now 34,684, up from 34,344. People should have confidence in the National Voters Register if you are going to talk about a credible election. So it is in the interest of the election management body to explain any discrepancies in the voter numbers and as they wait for a response the commission could not give us a sure answer yet i've just given you an instance i'm not saying this is what exactly it is but we shall find out and then give you uh, the appropriate information there are those who may have been recommended for example for removal from the register either on account that they are no longer resident but then they emerge later on and say no for me i'm just going to Kampala to work I'm still resident in this area and I want to come and vote in this area. So these are the things that we are going to look at. But I want to assure you that the register will be credible, it will be verifiable and ascertainable. The Abakama had been meeting representatives of the Interparty Organization for Dialogue iPod over suspension of campaign meetings in 16 districts and cities due to spikes in COVID-19 cases. Parties are particularly concerned that the commission denied their candidates access to these key areas without providing an alternative method of campaigning. Another issue was the high cost of airtime in the privately owned these media houses. They should work with the electoral commission at least for the remaining days to make sure they regulate the prices. The yardstick they used to, uh, to, to, to put up a list of the 13 districts where campaigns were stopped. Because there was a case in point of a district like Kalungu. Kalungu has only registered one person in their hospital who has COVID. So we are told that no, it is not that one person in hospital. It is the high likelihood of one gate contracting of, what? of COVID. So we said that if you are going to Kalungu, you pass through Mpiji. Mpiji is open. Then the nearby district would be Bukoma Sim, they are open. So we actually asked them, they said no, you see that is what they had been told by the Minister of Health. Uh, so we are saying such restrictions they must invite the Minister of Health to come and explain to Ugandans. We have undertaken to the seat, deliberate, deliberate over these issues extensively and then get back to them with the appropriate responses. All political parties are showing need to speak to voters in these areas as they start the final lap of their campaigns ahead of January 14th. Edward Mhumza, NTV.